Hello, East Rampo scholars, teachers, staff, and community members. My name is Sabrina Charles Pierre, Vice President of the East Rampo Central School District, serving for the past six years. As we continue to celebrate the Shiro's among us, those women who have impacted our lives and served our communities, let us praise and share stories about those who showed us the way forward in acts and deeds. It is an honor to share with you today the first African-American female superintendent of the East Rampo Central School District, Dr. Deborah L. Wortham, appointed in October 2015. During Dr. Wortham's tenure, a district-wide transformation took place by implementing a mission, vision, strategic academic plan, growth mindset, philosophy of efficacy, morning message, professional learning communities, standards-based curriculum, and the data-driven leadership in action network meetings. Dr. Wortham routinely conducted learning walks, data-driven conversations, strengthening the determination to educate the whole child and ensured staff and students were healthy, safe, supported, engaged, and challenged. Changing the culture of the district, teachers created instructional bulletin boards, data walls, learning targets, collaborative groups, and explicit instruction which systematized the foundational five instructional model in all buildings. In 2016, with the support of the community, legislators, and lobbyists, we received $3 million to restore all day kindergarten and the arts. The community approved a $59 million bond that served to restore antiquated facilities and enhance student achievement. The restoration of athletic fields, bleachers, leaking roofs, boilers, and windows provided a structural shift and set the atmosphere for proficiency in the arts, athletics, and academics. Under Dr. Wortham's leadership, the New York State Education Department's ESSA Accountability Status Report announced that they were placing all 12 of our, of our K-8 buildings in good standing. The removal of Elmwood Elementary School from the Focus School Improvement List to a school in good standing indicated that the instructional platform would yield significant results. Chestnut Ridge Middle School was removed from priority status to good standing and now Chestnut Ridge Middle School is an international baccalaureate candidate campus and Kaggett Elementary is a STEAM academy with a new wing of state-of-the-art classrooms. To help increase graduation rates in the high schools, Dr. Wortham implemented the final five for seniors, have acceptable attendance and behavior, pass the regents, community service hours, take the ACT or SAT, and apply to a college. The Smart Scholars program and college in the high school allowed students the capacity to graduate from high school with college credit, therefore creating a college and career culture from pre-K to 12. Dr. Wortham made sure we prepared students not only for college and career, but beyond. Some of you may remember the principles of efficacy. Smart is not something you are, smart is something you get. Or the time spent cultivating and building the confidence of our students. We are not afraid to be great. Some of you may also remember the many selfies creating countless memories during her time here at East Ramapo. Dr. Wortham allowed the children of the East Ramapo Central School District to have a voice and taught them how to eloquently advocate for academics. Every school had a principal student circle, which was the precursor to the superintendent's student circle. Dr. Wortham also came with the concept of the Board of Education, reserving two seats for non-voting student representatives. Dr. Wortham held regular meetings with the superintendent's community circle, representing public and non-public, and the superintendent's teacher circle, serving to bridge an ever-present divide by building relationships. As the first appointed African-American female superintendent, Dr. Wortham took us from promise to progress, knowing that together we found out how great you can be, for Jigabee. Mm -hmm. As we continue to prepare our students for the future, let us continue to ask the question, is it good for kids? Now let's see if you were listening. Question number one, what is the mission and vision of the East Rampo Central School District? Number two, how many schools are in good standing? Number three, what school became an international baccalaureate candidate campus? And number four, who was the first African-American female superintendent of East Rampo Central School District? Thank you for celebrating Shiro's part two with us. 